This is PPMA TV brought to you by our good friends at Mark and Marsh. I'm joined here by Paul from Sycamore Process Engineering. Paul, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day to join us. Tell us a bit about what you do at Sycamore. So, yeah, uh, thank you for, for interviewing us. Um, Sycamore Process Engineering, we bring uh, experts, we're experts in end-to-end -end process solutions, um, working in dairy, food and beverage industries uh, mainly. But we're, we're actually seeing today uh, lots of different industries come in to see and talk to us about quite a transferable uh, product, CIP, which is one of our core competencies. Um, we're here with our automation partner exhibiting. Uh, they bring our solutions to life, uh, you know, digital, uh, digitalization. That's a tough word to say. Yeah, and uh, yeah, also, I mustn't forget the uh, master integrator status we have with Alpha Laval. Alpha Laval's huge brand in uh, dairy, food and beverage in particular. Um, and yeah, brings a lot of technical support, which we can then pass on to our customers with automation, heat recovery, energy efficiency, optimization of existing plant and also new equipment as well, such as CIP. Yeah, let's let's dive a little bit further into the whole CIP, CIP thing because I know that's an area that you're focusing on this year. Also, a lot of your customers are focusing on too. So we were, we're lucky enough to be able to get our hands on one of our CIP sets we built. Mm. Um, it's actually raising a lot of interest, um, you know, many customers. It's very transferable across the industries. Everyone needs to clean, everyone wants to clean effectively, efficiently, maintain hygiene, uh, product quality, and also clean in good time so they can get into production um, you know, and make their products, so increase that uptime as well. So efficient CIP, um, we're really seeing a lot of interest with that, and yeah, it's super to be able to have it and, and, and demonstrate that to our potential customers and existing customers as well. So. Exactly. What, what are your customers giving you in terms of feedback about the challenges that they're facing? Is it uh, technical challenges at the moment? Is it investment challenges? You know, the different challenges economically for sure at the moment. What, what are the barriers for them, do you think? Yeah, I would certainly say there's been a huge push on uh, OPEX, uh, efficiencies, CO2 emissions. You know, we need to look at new innovations. Um, we've got partnerships with membrane filtration. Um, you know, partnerships with Alpha Laval, uh, with our automation. You know, we're tr really trying to streamline and, and, and be innovative, but also look at the CO2 emissions, uh, fossil fuel usage, steam usage, which again, go back to CIP. If we can think of innov innovative ways of, of powering these, which we do with hot water, for example, some uh, low temperature hot water generated from CHP plants, you know, we can then run our CIP sets on zero steam, for example, fossil fuel reduction, CO2 emissions, and we're seeing a real drive in our customers' uh, focus in, in where they're going to channel their, their capital expenditure. Um, so it's interesting times for it. It is interesting times, and I also find it very interesting in a way that it's taken struggles, it's taken difficult times for everyone to really focus on the efficiency. And you know, it, it's a shame maybe we hadn't had this focus on efficiency until economically, it's made, or, well, economically, but also for supply chain reasons. You mentioned CO2, for example, how difficult that's been to come by over the last two, two or so years. Now, however, we are grasping that, that nettle and we are making the most of the opportunity that the difficult times have present, presented us with. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, all of our customers have got their own sustainability goals, yes. um, but we're also being asked for what are our sustainability goals as Sycamore Process Engineering? How are we going to be able to aid them with theirs? But, but you know, we're getting asked more and more now, so what, what are your goals? So we're, you know, collectively, we're going to come up with the right solution. Um, and I know it's a big, you know, it's a big drive for us as a company, uh, right across the board for, for OPEX, uh, which, is, which is great. And we're, we're, we're really pleased to be a part of that. So. We're really pleased that you're part of the PPMA show this year. How's it been? You having good com co good conversations with the visitors here? Uh, do you know what? Yesterday was absolutely fantastic. Uh, really busy uh, first day. Second day has been uh, you know equally as good, if not better. So yeah, yeah more to come. They're queuing up behind you, so uh, we're going to have to let them on the stand in a bit, and hopefully the rest of the day and day three continues. It's right. been brilliant. We'll leave you to your chats in that case. For now, though, Paul, thank you very much for joining us. And thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers.